Hey guys, this is DJ Kenny Casanova with the DJService.com, giving you a couple things to think about when creating your floor plan for your wedding reception. Uh, one thing to think about is caterers really know what they know best, and that's how to create a great meal. However, they don't always have entertainment in mind when helping you with your floor plan. Uh, when you go to see a band live, say that you go to the Times Union Arena, um, you don't want to sit behind something that's going to obstruct your view. Um, for instance, let's think about a uh, stateroom uh, in Albany. They make an awesome prime rib. However, they have a lot of columns. And sometimes when uh, you're laying out your floor plan with them, uh, you might not think anything of putting the DJ booth right behind the column. Well, what that does is that makes it so guests can't interact with the DJ um, for requests and all, and the DJ doesn't interact that well with the guests. So some kind of obstructed view uh, in front uh, of the DJ booth um, structurally, like with the build of the hall, is always a bad thing uh, to go with. Another thing to think about is uh, like a balcony uh, layout. Melozzi's also does a great layout and they're well known for their catering and, and uh, the different venues that they service in the Capital District. However, um, in their main ballroom in Schenectady, there's a balcony, and sometimes they like to have the DJ go up on the balcony. Well, most mobile DJs uh, don't have speakers that are set to project sound correctly down. Uh, it's a whole different show, and most, uh, most rock bands are the ones that kind of do that when they're up on a stage and all their speakers are set up like that. But mobile DJs use... Um, speakers that are created to project sound out and uh, far at low levels so they don't have to blast the people in the front to reach the people in the back. But these same speakers don't project down, they project out. So if you're way up in a balcony, you're going to be doing a good job for the rafters, but you're not going to be doing a good job for the guests uh, when it comes to quality of sound. Um, another thing to think about, the DJ should always be on the dance floor, like right on the edge of it should never have a table in front of the DJ booth. Uh, you're going to create the worst seats in the house for the few people sitting there, if that's the case. Um, and another thing is those people uh, should not be elderly people near the DJ booth um, if there was a table in the front. Um, but let's just say that there isn't a table in the front. It's best not to have elderly people anywhere near the DJ booth at, at all. Even though you might think, well, they're uh, hard of hearing, they can't hear very well, uh, so if we put them close to the DJ booth, uh, they won't notice that it's really loud. Well, actually, it's extremes that uh, bother elderly people's ears sometimes, so it can be really quiet and they don't hear very well, or it can be um, kind of loud and it'll be, even, it'll be amplified and it'll bother their ears even more. So um, really keep that in mind. Um, so if you get anything out of this today, best thing to think about is don't have anything in front of the DJ booth whatsoever. The best place to do uh, put your DJ is right on the edge of the dance floor. And keep the elderly people off to the side so uh, they don't constantly ask for the sound to be uh, lowered and then the people in the back can't hear um, that well because of a lowering of volume. Um, again, this is DJ Kenny Casanova with some thoughts on where to put the DJ and where to place your guests uh, for your wedding floor plan. Thanks again. Check out our site at thedjservice.com. Thank you.